In this lockup under a Brussels railway station, a group of volunteers who call themselves Call of the Heart are putting together bags with sleeping mats and warm clothes to hand out to the homeless. And now they're taking around a new origami cardboard shelter to keep people out of the wind. It's produced by Xavier van der Stappen, who by day runs an electric car company. It's a way to respond to a direct need. I think it's cold now, it's the winter, and I feel very bad when I see people living in the street. First of all, if I got more money, I will probably open a house. As the team goes out on their weekly round to deliver more bags and shelters, they find a fair few of the first 20 origami tents are still being used, and Xavier has a hundred more in production. Camping under canvas is illegal in this city, and any tents are removed by police, but cardboard structures are allowed to stay. According to recent figures, there are 2,600 homeless people sleeping rough on the streets of Brussels and the surrounding region every night. These are the ones that aren't able to get into a homeless shelter. Each shelter costs around $35 to make. They're manufactured by inmates at a local prison. Cardboard is a good insulator against cold, and the fold-up design means the shelter is mobile. Swavek from Poland has been homeless in Brussels for over a year and was given a shelter two weeks ago. He says, although it's a bit small, it's keeping him much warmer. A lot of people sleep on the street. Lots of them have died from the cold. There's nothing to look for here. I leave Belgium myself, but I don't have the opportunity. In fact, 72 people died on the streets of Brussels last year. Three months on from the idea, charity groups as far as Asia and the US have been in contact, asking for the design so they can help their own homeless people. Jack Parrick, TRT World, Brussels.